Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam ima ba'd I wanted to look at two ayats very very briefly Two very important ayats which illustrate for us that we should be striving to have taqwa And taqwa ayu ayu al-habba Is that staying away from those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited and doing those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya ayu ladheena amanu kutiba alaykum siyam kama kutiba ladheena min qablakum la'allakum tattakum. He says, O oh, you who believe, he addresses the believers. It was prescribed for you fasting similar to the way it was prescribed for those who, who came before you in order that you would gain taqwa. Again, Allah is urging us to have taqwa. And how do we get it? By fasting. And that's what we're doing now. It's the holy month of Ramadan. So we're all doing that, but try to purify your fasting. Try to make it sahih. Try to do all the acts of ibadah and try to make lots of supplication, reading the Quran, doing those things that are increase your iman, and make sure your intention is for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the second ayat Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Ya yuan nasa abudu rabbukum alladhi khalakukum wa alladhina min qablakum la'allakum tattakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, also addressing the believers. Ya yuladina amanu. Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses all of mankind, not the believers in this ayat. Ya yuan nas, ya yuan nas abudu rabbukum. O you mankind, worship your Lord, the one who created you and who created those who came before you in order that you would have God consciousness or, or fearfulness, meaning that you would gain taqwa. Again, both of those ayats urge mankind and uh, in specific the believers to attain taqwa. Mankind in general is ordered to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَلَا إِنْسَ لِلِي عَبُدُونَ I have not created mankind and jinn except for the purpose of worshiping me. That's for all of mankind and the jinn. And the second, the other ayat that I mentioned was specifically for the believers because they're already in the fold of Islam submitting to the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in one state or, or another, meaning that their iman fluctuates and their iman is of different level in accordance with their knowledge and their practice. And the believer is being addressed with fasting in order to attain that taqwa. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our fasting. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our sins. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with Jannah to Fardos. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala look over all of, overlook all of our faults and bless the Muslims to move away from bid'ah and away from kufr and away from hypocrisy and away from all those sins and things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hates. And may Allah bless us to do those things which He loves subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.